So guys, welcome back to more Death Stranding. Uh, first off, thank you guys for all the support each and every video. It's kind of cool because, like, I know this is a long game, and I will be finishing it. It's just probably going to take me a while. So uh, thanks for being patient and supportive. Uh, it really means a lot to me. So, all right, guys, I love you. Let's get this. All right, so we got this one. Uh, man, you hear my voice? Good gracious. Ooh. All right, uh, carry on back. Porter boots. Going to attach. Prescription medicine. Still got that. Let me, hold on. I need that. Well, I'll do that separately. I got backup boots if I need to on the boot clip. Uh, not carried. I don't need them. Whatever. <laughs> Swapped them out a little bit. I'm going to donate some stuff and then I guess I will... Or not donate, but recycle. Wait, what? I was like, why would it tell me I can make a delivery? You really can't do anything here? In storage, I got nothing. Uh, I might just do this then, just to give me some place in private storage. I can come back for this later. I just said I can't... Uh, put on footwear, nope. I don't even think I should save that, but whatever. All right, we're good. Let me auto arrange, maybe make things a little easier, and we're good to go. I want a power station, man. My suit's about to go out. So what do I do here? Why can't I not do anything? Like this thing's about to pop. I should have got a, okay, hold on. Now we can go, okay, we got, sounds to go back up there. Recovery toolbox. Should I go here first? Because this is where I'm supposed to put the medicine at, so... Hmm. Let's clear up the markers really quick. Let's make a new route. Alright, so we know this area is infested. I think this area down here might be. Mule post box. Yeah, they're everywhere. So, what we're going to do... We're going to head down here first. Unless I should go up first and then come back down. I don't know. Hmm. Run down here. I already know this place is going to be swarming. Unless I'm absolutely stealthy. Uh, let's see. Looking at it from this angle, I don't know. It's kind of funny you move the map around. <laughs> let's just go there. It is what it is. This thing's about to go. Free to use. Don't you hand over a bodysuit, fam. Give me that. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that yet. You saved my game. Because you never know, right? You never know. I really can't stop playing this game. It's so good. Um, I feel like... Here, I have an idea. What if I remove the suit? Now, and that way I just don't have to worry about maybe it breaking, and if I can get, if I just have one of those things where I, actually let me just do this, it's been a while. I was going to say, if I could get to a station area, I can recharge the suit, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm equipped with my, uh, there we go. <laughs> I like how you have to equip it. Like some kind of weapon. And then I have to hold the button down to finish. Next time I get jumped by enemies, I'm just gonna pee on them. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Like... That might be the ultimate defense mechanism. Hey, think about it. I'm just messing around. I don't even know if that worked. I kinda wanna try it though now. I need to drink plenty of energy drinks. See something moving in the background over there. That's that vehicle. Okay, I, be, I gotta be cautious here. That's that thing that was chasing me earlier. Yeah, we gotta go back across this. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have an idea. We'll go this way. Let's 
Need to replenish that. Mm. Just like oh, rest, maybe. Drop. I don't know if that does anything, but whatever. Massage those shoulders. Okay. Good five seconds sleep. Yo, I got I got to urinate more now. What in the world? I guess it's because I just drank that stuff. Fourteen seconds, and that that did all that to me. Yeah, I say we just. Oh, hold on. Let's uh, let's not get careless here. Uh, I vote we go the long way. Maybe. I'm gonna just kind of stay going to this side. Yeah, like the further I go down, I just want to get away from that vehicle back there. That area just seemed like it was crawling with those guys. If I had enough metal, I could build a bridge and actually finish the bridge. I'm going to go further down where there's maybe some rocks. Actually, if I do this, walk with it, and kind of angle my way towards it. I'm getting there. Water's pretty deep, though. Let's just stand still for a second. Ah, right, we're good. My canteen is axe. Hold on, let me just stand here until this thing goes away. Got to get it all the way to a thousand. This game is pretty relaxing, to be honest. The threats in the game that will, I guess, mess mess you up. It it's just kind of cool, like how. They gradually increase everything. Like the first area is mostly like BTs, with occasionally like a mule area. That's pretty like crazy. Now they're like amped up. Instead of a motorcycle here, we have the you know the body suit or whatever. Let's see what this says. Yeah, rebuild roads. It's the same thing as earlier. There we go. Alright, uh... We're going kind of around, but we are going the right direction, so it's way over here. It's nowhere near that other area. I could have avoided them, like, the whole time. So I, le I could legitimately just stay all the way to the left, like, as I'm going back. Don't even get near them. Might be the strat. We'll see. Do have any ladders? Uh... No, I don't. Okay. I'm gonna put one up right here, but I really need that thing where I can fabricate stuff while I'm out. I think I, I had it on me earlier, but I lost it when I fast traveled. How you so doing, gotta be cautious. <clears throat> this looks like death. This little little area right here. We circled around completely, didn't we? I am going the right way. I hope. According to the map, I'm headed right at it, so... I just wanted to avoid those enemies because I feel like they hit really hard and... Until I recharge my suit, I'm kind of vulnerable. Because being able to recharge it... I wonder if, uh, when I sleep, maybe? You know how you can go, like, when you charge the motorcycle up, or the bike, you can actually... Just store it? I wonder if you could do something like that with this, but this being, like... Like, what in the world? Where's this thing at? Up this hill, really? Oh my god. This is gonna be tough. I think it's legitimately on the other side of this hill or at the top. I like that each, uh... It kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 5 a little bit, if you think about it with the... The way the game started, very strong with cutscenes, had a lot of build-up for the first maybe hour and a half to two hours, and then... It just kind of said, hey, you know what? It's a lot of free roam from here on out. You kind of make your own story. This is kind of the mix. You got a lot of cutscenes, but you have a lot of missions that are kind of the same, you know? All right, we're good. I think shouldn't be damaged, I hope.
And I can't fabricate from these smaller lo locations anyways, if I'm not mistaken. I've been expecting you. You are my lifeline. I've only managed to get this far thanks to Porters, and you don't ask for anything in return. You have my gratitude. Let's see how's the package. Wow, this is great. Excellent job, thank you. Yep, easy S ranking there. Ah, so you're here on behalf of Fragile Express. Please tell me you put the terrorists behind you. When Fragile, the daughter of the founder, started associating with other couriers, things started getting scary around here. Rumors say that she caused the explosion at Middle Knot City, and there's a part of me that believes it. Of course, she could be just another one of their victims. Are you connecting the Chiral Network? I don't mind a contract with Bridges, but I'm not going to join the UCA. Go ahead if you're fine with that. Maybe you already heard it from Fragile, but preppers who don't want to be a part of the UCA can still sign a contract with Bridges to join the network. They get to use our delivery services and other basic Cairo network infrastructure, much like our full members. Similarly, you'll be able to use their Cairo printing facilities to replenish your supplies. They are not, however, obligated to exchange data with us. So don't expect them to share intel or help with the development of new tech. In an ideal world, everyone would be a part of the UCA, of course. But failing that, we want everyone to at least be a part of the network. They can always change their minds after the fact. The Cupid will interface differently with the terminal depending on the type of contract. So connect your Cupid to confirm. Kind of making gradual increases. All right, nice. All right, now we got everything on the map there. Uh, we got to get... I think we got all three of them connected now. The company just got too big. In times like these, we should all keep it close and tight. That goes for couriers, too. Otherwise, we'll just make the same mistakes. Republics, federations, coalitions, states... Connecting all kinds of people together. It's just asking for trouble. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I last talked to anyone. Travel safe. See you around, then. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. We got two standard ones. I don't really understand the point of these. I mean, I understand they exist for reasons like... Maybe increasing your score and stuff, but kind of seems pointless sometimes. Uh, all right. I wish I could recycle. Here's the problem with recycling those. Like, let me see something really quick. I got so many of those. Mule's always thirsty for my cargo. I gotta start putting stuff away. All right, uh, maximum amount owned. Okay, now we've hit the cap. I mean, I guess I'm good. Now, we do have the other thing, though. There is one more... I have to go... Actually, what does this say? Okay, recovery. So, we gotta go... Let's... Yeah, we'll do those. I think that's the only thing left. Make it delivered to the craftsman. 
Uh, recover the toolbox at the ruined shelter. Okay. Hold on, what? Okay, yeah, we're good. Alright, time to head back. Let's see. I'm gonna remove those markers. Uh, so I can avoid everything. What I'm gonna do here is... I'm gonna kinda go this way. To that. I guess we'll go, yeah, we'll just kinda... Make one, one giant swoop to the other side. direction is the marker going? Hold on, I think I messed something up. Like back behind it, it looks like. Yep, here we go. Probably not the safest way to get down this mountainside, but we're about to find out. Weapons restrictions lifted. I think this is like the last thing I can do in this little spot, and then maybe it's gonna give me something else I can do. Yeah. I don't know. Grip for balance, we're good. I should have been more. Now that I know that this area doesn't really have any vehicles I can use, at least that I know of yet, I'll uh, just be more prepared with more ladders. I think. If I hold on, if I go down here, okay, this is still safe. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna find out. Oh, that, look at that ladder placement. Someone's a genius. Hold on. I gotta go over and give it a like. Uh, yep. Oh my god. Get back up. There we go. Nice. That was a lifesaver, because if I had gone down anymore, I'm pretty sure there's some mules over there. And they're going to try to take all my stuff. Man, I'm going to be honest. Like, a lot of games when I play it, there's... It's either straight to the point. I'm trying to think of like, all the games like Borderlands, Gears of War. All the ones I've played this fall, there's just like... There's just... The game just throws everything at you. You know exactly what you need to do. In this game's... Or not in this game's, but in this game, you're just making deliveries. Which is... Kind of honestly therapeutic sometimes. Kind of almost compare it to other games that are just like chill. Granted, it is stressful in certain moments, which now that I'm thinking about, let me save it. I'm over here talking, talking like it's easy, but you already know I'm gonna get clapped by some mules here in a minute, so. All right, yeah, we should be good. Head back over here and deliver this. And then I think that's the last thing I can do in this area. And then I'm sure something will happen. Maybe a cutscene or it'll just say, hey, get some more deliveries. I don't know. Level one on that. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yep. I just want to keep on track. I have the waypoint, but I'm so scared to get to the right. I'm just going to go down this way. <laughs> Oh boy, hold on. That nah, wasn't too bad. Uh, a ladder would not do anything here, so... We're gonna have to fight the current a little bit. Using cargo as a weapon throwing... Press square to use handheld cargo as a makeshift weapon while doing so, release it to throw it. Okay. Yo, my stamina is so bad. I need to crack an energy drink. Pronto. I need to sleep and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. I mean, I'm trying to see all the things I have. Art okay, the Arbon doesn't do anything. I always wonder what... Wait, does this thing recharge? Hold on. Oh, it does recharge a little bit. Okay. Put a cap on. Why not? It just seems like customize in your private room. Okay, yeah, these aren't really, I guess, useful in a way. All right, whatever. All right, I got the power suit back on for now. Here goes. 
Should be a straight shot. Yep. I had a feeling they were going to spot me. Get anywhere close to it. There's one right here, actually. I could probably outrun some of them. They're all the way over here, actually. Now that I think about it. I think with this suit on, they can't get me. Usually they would catch up to me by now. But this thing is running out, so I gotta be careful. Come on, I gotta hurry, gotta hurry. This thing's gonna run out before I can get to the other side of this water, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. Come on, go, 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 go. The baby is stressed. <laughs> I'm gonna weapons, I'm gonna let it run out actually and just try and see what happens. Resting outdoors will restore a little bit. Make a full recovery. You need to take a rest in a private room. Yeah. Haven't had one of those in a while because there's no, like, private rooms right here. I got to go all the way to the top right. I'm not quite done with that yet. All right. Battery depleted. Charge the battery. Yep. This thing is it's going to weigh me down at this point, isn't it? I guess just remove it for now. Press ID. Verify. All right, uh, sorry for the weird cut or start of the video. I'm just kind of chilling right now. <laughs> but I'd let him rest. There's nowhere for me to rest around here that uh, I don't want to get too sidetracked. I'll show you right now. Let me stand up really quick. I rested for a while, I think. Hopefully it shows me how, how long it was. 18 minutes. Okay, nice. Perfect. Uh, didn't I need better boots pretty soon. Uh, rather than going back over here... That's when I can get everything. Uh, I'm going to go up here, retrieve the toolbox, and then come back. That's the only thing I have on my, I guess, objective markers right now. It's behind me, though. Let's see. It's kind of funny how this game is structured sometimes. Like, I'll be... How am I, am I losing my mind? I got a, a waypoint going there. Yeah. What in the world? Okay, now now it's showing both of them. Okay, to and from. Let's do it. My boots are still fine. Uh, man, thank you guys so much all the support on this game. By the way, I've had so much fun playing it. I really have. Ooh, hold on. It's raining. I feel like this is technically a what is this thing called? Hold on. It's a ruined shelter. Oh yeah. It's gonna be some bad stuff here. Mm. Oh, we're not quite anywhere near BTs yet, but I'm gonna see some soon. And yes, my voice is still kind of giving out. I'm doing like a long session of recording right now. Oh, one thing I do want to check. Hold on. I need to urinate for sure, but I don't want to do it out here. I wonder how much this thing has. Okay, it's got a little more battery. Not a lot more. It does help you move a little faster, but I might de-equip it for now. Just because maybe I need to use it to get away after I get this toolbox. This toolbox better be special. I'm just saying. Ugh. Risking it all. This is some tough terrain. Hold on, I gotta scale this. I don't know if this is the best way to go. Hold on, let's go this side. This kind of goes up, it looks like. Gonna wait for it to show the uh, little thing pop up. Then I'll know BTs are nearby. Tell me about it. Fill in for me someday. <laughs> All right, we are almost there. I guess the game would want you to stick to the critical path right here. By that, I mean, like, not the main story, but the path on the road, kind of. Well, not really a road, but I'm going to go this way. 
What was that I could pick up? Doesn't matter now, we're gonna keep moving. Yeah, this looks like bad news bears. Well, there's the toolbox right there. Definitely not going to be easy. Five of those, five of those. I don't have another screen, so we only have ten total. So I got to really make these count if I use them. Uh, looks like an opening over there. I might go there... I don't know what on this side. Okay, now it should pop up. We're close enough now to where it's gonna start showing them. I kind of wonder... I can't get over that, there's no way. Okay, I think all the enemies are on the other side of this wall. But I don't want to run because they can hear my footsteps, most likely. So I'm going to just kind of maneuver around. Okay, you can't go through this opening either. We have to go around. Which is probably going to be a maze of BTs. <laughs> 